Good evening, Swadiha. Welcome to the court performance, a traditional Thai mask drama dance based on the ancient Hindu epic Ramayana. I now have the honor to invite His Excellency Mr. Virachai Kalasani, Ambassador and Permanent Representative of the Kingdom of Thailand to the United Nations, to deliver his remarks. to discover one of the most original cultural heritages of Asia, the corn, right in the heart of Manhattan. This Thai mask dance drama is considered quite widely by many to be the most exquisite Thai traditional art form and cultural expression. It dates back as far as the 14th century and until recently was only performed in royal court. It perfectly combines several arts, crafts, dance skills, and musical talents to create a complex yet elegant and enjoyable drama performance. The Korn is based on the ancient Hindu epic Ramayana, widely known and loved by many Asian nations. It is an exciting adventure tale about a banished prince who wanders for a year in the wilderness, separated from his beloved wife, but who finally prevailed through his virtue, faith, and bravery. The main storyline of Ramayana remains similar in all Asian nations. Only the costumes and the dancing postures vary amongst each country's adaptation. The Thai version of Ramayana that you will be able to see tonight, the Ramakian as we call it, contains indeed elements from Thai customs and traditions. It nevertheless reflects that common cultural root of Asia, the Ramayana, in a faithful manner, perfectly symbolizing a unity within the apparent diversity. Moreover, the four main characters of the epic, namely male, female, demon, and ape, and the final advent of peace, carries for the modern world the universal message of virtue and peaceful and harmonious living among the nations. I am amazed that this message from seven centuries ago remains so relevant in our modern day world order. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the corn is specially brought to you tonight by the Royal Thai Government to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the United Nations and as one of the first member states of the organization to express our appreciation to New York City and the New York public for having so generously hosted the United Nations headquarters for seven decades now. By the same token, we celebrate in our own way the nearly 70 years of our commitment to the causes of the United Nations, in particular peace, security, development and human rights. These values are indeed cherished by all American people and as a culture of peace and modern moderation ourselves, we firmly believe that these values can be best enhanced through understanding, tolerance, and respect of cultural diversity. In this context, the corn as a cultural expression perfectly symbolizes our vision and hope. The corn also represents our conviction that culture is the very basis of human interaction, hence of relations among the nations. As the United Nations member states are now finalizing the post-2015 development agenda together, culture as never before appears as the enabler par excellence of sustainable development. Only through culture can we be able to hope for a true global development based on people-centered approach. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, another unique Thai cultural heritage is on display in the lobby. This is a selection of exquisite traditional crafts from a permanent exhibition in Bangkok entitled Arts of the Kingdom. These superb pieces have been handcrafted with love and care by talented rural villagers throughout the country, including from the Muslim community in the south of the country. 
They have been trained in ancient Thai crafts and given the opportunity to develop and perfect their skills and techniques by the Sirikit Institute set up under the initiative of Her Majesty the Queen of Thailand. Over the years, this occupational training has significantly contributed to uplifting the livelihood of the villagers who, through their training and work, can also share a sense of belonging to a common Thai cultural heritage. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all an enjoyable and memorable Thai cultural evening. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. The hero in the epic Ramayana is Rama Hopara, a reincarnation of the Hindu god Vishnu. The main storyline of the epic revolves around the protected war between Rama, the righteous king, and Tosagani, the demon king, which is fueled by the induction of Sita, Rama's beloved consort, by the demon king. The drama is therefore full of love, magic, and war scenes. Before the performance begins, I would like to introduce the four main characters of Korn. First, Pra, the principal male character. female character. <laughs> Next is Yang Sa, the demon king. He will always be the demon And just for your information, his three layer costumes took about, I would say, three hours to put the costume on today. <laughs> and finally, Lin, the ape of the monkey soldier. <laughs> they do not speak. So the way that they will be communicating with us tonight is through their body language. We shall see five types of gestures through these four different characters. First, love. Yeah, 